Hello there and welcome back. Today I want to introduce you to a little data pack I made a while ago. This data pack is a data pack to implement in your Minecraft world or on your server to have the game mode of Manhunt or Speedrunner vs Hunters, which most people know from the YouTuber and Speedrunner Dream. In this video I want to show you how to use it and how to install it of course. We will start by showing you how to use this data pack and then I will show you how to install it. I will not explain how I did it but if you want to know you can ask me in the comments or you can just go to my Twitch channel and ask me there when I am live. So let's start with how to actually use this data pack. This is actually a nice world. There's apparently a portal over there and a shipwreck over there if I see right. So um, yeah let's start. All you have to do as the owner of the map or of the server, you need to type in slash reload. And then if you did that, this text should appear in the chat. Everybody can see it, I think, and everybody should be able to activate it. So then just click inside of the chat right there. You will be set back to the spawn point and get a few effects. That's totally normal. And now, there's a few more texts here. When I'm now active, become hunter, become runner, start, deactivate and stop. If you want to be the hunter, uh, then you have to click on this upper button. And if you want to be the runner, then you need to click this middle one. I will press become hunter for demonstrating purposes. Then we get this compass that shows the location of the runner. If everybody has their role, you can click on start. If you don't have this text in the chat anymore, you can also type in slash trigger and then there you have all of those that you will need. So let's just click on start and then everything starts. Hello little guy. If for some reason you want to stop this whole data pack, there is this button um, that you can click here. If you don't have it anymore, then you can still use slash trigger deactivate. And if you do that, and then everything will get deleted, your items, your well, the compass, uh, your effects and all of the teams. And if you want to reactivate it, there's a button in the chat as well. It's very simple and works like that. But now on to how to install this data pack. So if you're in single player, you need to go to your world or make a new one. And let's just call it Manhunt Tutorial and you will need to turn cheats on. And then there's this button which says data packs and then you can click on this button that says open pack folder. This will open this temporary folder which will be deleted afterwards and in this folder you can copy the zip folder that you would download from the website. So copy it into here or drag it if you want to and then you can actually close it. We won't need it anymore. Then go back into Minecraft and in here you have this screen now. If you click on this arrow, it'll get implemented and activated. And then you can go to done and it's going to check on it and then it should be fine. That is actually how you install it in a brand new world. But if you already have a world, then it's going to be a little bit more different. So all you need to do is to press, if you're on Windows, the key combination Windows and R. Then this little window will open and then you need to type in percent app data percent just like that then you can click ok and you will get to this folder then you need to double click on dot minecraft and then you have a couple of folders and you need to find the folder that says saves then go into that folder and then there's your world whatever you have called it ours is called manhunt tutorial so I'll click on that and then there's a couple more folders. One of them says data packs. So go into that one and right there we can copy it as well. And then you'll have this data pack installed like that. If you want to install it on your server, you can either copy the whole world you just created with this data pack or you could look up on the host tutorials of your server host how to install data packs because it's most of the time different with every single host. I hope this data pack will bring you all the fun. I hope it will. And I hope 
if you liked my video, we can see each other in the next one. So, with that, thank you very, very much for watching, and as I just said, until the next time, goodbye for now.